Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the piano animations together of together with the sheet music together. The same music and everything is in real time between the piano animation and sheet music. So start from now, I'm going to guide you step by step. First, go and download or create any of the MIDI files that you want. Just give you an example, the first it is The first it is is the song name Then search together with another key term that is MIDI Download Then search, Google search For now, I can download the, the MIDI files Or if you are a pianist, you can create Using your own MIDI file, you can record your own MIDI file. Just to click. Now I'm going to download download this, the first release MIDI file. Now you can see. After download it, as demo, I will just put on my desktop. All right. Now, this is my MIDI file. You can see the file extension is .mid. If you cannot see the file extension, then you have to right-click the file explorer, then click file explorer, click view, click options, click view. Then you should untick the high extension for known file type so that you can see all of the file extensions. You can, you can recognize them easily. This is the MIDI file, and now let's have a check. I double click and try to play. All right, this is this is the correct MIDI file. Next, what you need to do is go and download the Synthesia. You can see the Synthesia. Now this is on my desktop. I'm going to play a song. Then get more song. Take me to setting. Okay, the desktop is already deselect. I'm going to plus. Should be on my desktop. One song found in this folder, I click Add. Then I back. Now play a song. I should be able to find my four release at here. Four release by Beethoven. This file name. Four release by Beethoven. I double click. Watch and play and watch. Now you can see this MIDI file already play as a piano an animation and it sh should also include the sheet music at, uh, is on the top. Let's have a look. This is the label and this is the setting. Usually by default the sheet music is turned off. So it should look like this. If you want to see the sheet music, you should click this. Setting, then turn on the sheet music. All right, now you have the the piano animations. You also have the sheet music. Next, what you need to do actually, you want to record this by using a screen video recorder. Okay, for for the screen video recorder, I recommend. By using the bug video capture or using the OBS, I already put all this download link at the video description. You just need to scroll down, go to the bottom, then you should be able to see. For my choice, for this time I use the debug video capture. I already install, I already download and install. It's it is already in my computer. Debug. So this is the debug video capture software that I already installed. But before I record this, 
I still need to go and go to the control panel to make some setting. This step is very important, you must follow me. So now I search for control panel, click the control panel. By default, here is categorized view by category, something like this. So here you cannot see any of the sound setting yet. You click here, choose the large icon so that you can find the sound. You click the sound, and here you can see a recording tab. Choose the record, click the recording. You should be able to see the stereo mix. This is my default microphone, and this is the stereo mix. You right click the stereo mix and enable it. Make sure these two already tick. Then you click enable to enable the stereo mix. And what is the stereo mix? The stereo mix will project the computer's audio sound. For example, now if I play, So the stereo mix, actually, it is a virtual microphone that always project the computer's sound. You can see, this is the computer sound. Then it projects the sound at your stereo mix. So we assume that this is a virtual microphone. Next step. I want to start record this. I click this button. It will Go back to the first frame. Next, I will open the debug video capture software. I click it to open this. All right. The first step, what you need to do, you click this one. Draw a selection rectangle using a mouse. Then after that. You should be able to, to have this option to crop the selected area that you want to record on your screen. Then, of course, I will select in this, this way. All right, next. Once you're done, click Select. Now, your computer is ready to record this part of the screen. Next, I'm going, going to close this first. All right, next step, what you need to do is go to your microphone setting. You can see, now you cannot see any setting here, you must maximize it. Once maximize it, you can see the audio setting. At the audio setting there, by default, it will select your default microphone. So you need to make sure you already take the microphones and go and select the stereo mix. Select the stereo mix. After that, click OK. Now, actually, you are ready to record. You can press, you can click the records. Then, 3, 2, 1, it will start record. Once, once it finished play all the music, you have to open this again, the debug, and then you press stop. Then this one, you can cross it. Now it already finished record. It already record the screen video and also included the audio, the, the music together that it already saved in a folder. You can see your file explorer, right click your file explorer, click file explorer, you look at the side, you should be able to see the video. Click this folder. Then you can see a debug. Under the debug folder, whatever you recorded on your screen, it, by using the debug video recorder, it will automatically save. So the latest one should be the untitled 4. I try and check this video.
All right, that is really awesome. It already recorded as an, as an AVI format, and this is a video. And this video is already ready to publish, ready to be uploaded to YouTube channel, to show all your friends, to show all over the world that your MIDI files, your sheet music and piano animations. If you want to do it more advanced, you can just drag, drag this video into the video editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, like your Adobe After Effects to create more effects and subtitles, also include the titles. It is up to you. Right. So for today, that's all for today about how to create a, the music, piano animations with sheet music together with a screen video recorder by using the Synthesia software. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and at the same time, turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time, when I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.